Hello, good people, and welcome to another episode of Money Matters with Excel. Here, we share tips and tricks on how you can use Microsoft Excel to manage your personal finances. Ideally, you should have your budget and compare it with your actual. But it happens that sometimes these are in different tables. In this short video, we'll learn how to put these two data sets together and analyze it using one pivot table. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. So at the beginning of the year, your typical budget layout looks something like this. You have your categories and then you have type, which is income or expense. And then for the year, you have this 12 month timeline. And then for each sale, how much you earn or spend per category. Now, when the year begins, you start recording your transactions. So you have your date, your description amount, the type, and then you assign your categories. Now, it comes to the point where you need to analyze, let's say your actual and budget and see it by category and let's say by date. How do you put these two different tables together? Note that the budget table has a different shape and then the actual also has a different shape. Now to do this, we need to shape it up using Power Query. So in Excel, we have to load the two tables into Power Query and then transform and shape it accordingly. So you go to data and then here you have your Power Query sets. So get and transform data from this current table. So I'll do that. So here is my Power Query window and here I have my first table as a query named actual. Because of what I'm going to do, I will not need the granular transactions. So I'm going to take this out and that leaves me with my date, which has to be formatted properly. So I format this as a proper date and then this is my amount. I can rearrange the columns as well. So my type, my amount and then my category. So for my actual transactions table, this is all I'm going to do. In Power Query, every action or step generates an M code or a formula. So if you look at the first thing that brought in this data set, we have an M code in the formula bar. I'm going to take advantage of this M code and bring in the other table, which is our budget table. So I've copied this. I go home, new source, other sources, and then I have a blank query here. So I'll simply paste this. And because I've named my tables, I'm going to name this actual sorry budget which is the name of the actor table so with this when I press enter I brought in the other budget table this budget table can give me a list of categories and the type one way it can also give me my budget by timeline so because of this I'm going to keep this query as a reference so I can use it to produce the other two tables in this query so I'll name this reference and then out of this reference, I'll right click and then reference out my budget. So I'll name this budget. My goal here is to make my budget look the same way as my actual. So you realize that in my budget, I have these 12 months that go across. So I'm going to hold these two columns together, right click and then on pivot these other columns so that it comes in as rows. So I have my category now, my type my attribute, which is the date columns that I collapsed or I unpivoted into rows. So I'm going to put this here as date, change the data type into a date. So I have something like this and then I will name this amount. So I can again rearrange this so I can bring my date here. And then I have my type I have my amount here and then my category goes here I've achieved the same layout as my actual so I have my actual my budget the last thing I want to do is to reference out the table or the lookup table that will give me my category and my type so again I'll go to my reference and then I'll name these categories so here I need only two columns so I'll just highlight these two right click and remove all other columns if you have duplicates, you can remove duplicates as well. This is so because your Power Query would always do this anytime your table updates. So I have my two fact tables, my actual and budget, and I'm also able to analyze this by category. 
So with this done, we can now load these into the data model minus the reference table because this is just a helper query. So I'll come here, close and load to. And then I'll save this as connection and add this to the data model. So when my queries are loaded as connections and into the data model, I'll right click and change the load type of this and disconnect it from the data model. So now let's go to the data model. So in the data model, you have all your tables laid out in a very columnar structure to make it easier for you to create relationships. So here, I have my data tab. I can find the data model power pivot window here. So you can access it here. So I'll click on this. And once this opens up, I see all my tables, my actual, my budgets and my categories. Our goal is to be able to analyze actual and budget by category and by date. And it's useful to have what we call a calendar table that gives you a series of dates starting from your minimum date all the way to your latest date. You can do that here in Power Pivot. So if you go to design, you can see date table. And then here, if I click new, it will go through the process of starting with my earliest date and then generate a table that contains all dates starting from my earliest date to my latest date. So this is what I have. If your data extends beyond this current maximum date, you can always come back here and then update the range. So we now have these four tables, two facts tables and two dimension tables. I can view them here in the diagram view. Okay, and then I can put actual and then budgets here to start my connections. So my goal here is to make all the tables talk to each other so that when I choose any slicer or filter from the top, it can filter or slice the values in my fact tables. So I'll take dates and connect it to date. Take this date in budget and I connect it to this date here. Do same for category. And I'll do same for category in this space as well. So with this, I can now exit out into a pivot table. Now all my tables are in one place. My pivot table can be analyzed in a new worksheet. Let me close this out. So in my pivot table, under pivot table analyze, I can activate my field list. So at this point, my actual budget, calendar and categories are here. I can start off with the amount in my actual drag it to values. Do same for budgets. Take my amount, drag it to values. It would be good to create a measure, but for this video, we'll keep it in the pivot table. I can just double click and name this actual. So this now has all my actual values. Double click this and name this budget as well. And then I'll do this. Now with these two values, I can now come to my category table we created in the Power Query and then analyze this by category, drag this into rows. And here I'm able to easily analyze my budget and actual by category. You can also analyze by time or date. Remember we have a dedicated calendar table. So if I want to view this, let's say by month, I can right click add my month as a slicer so here i can now see my actual and budget by month so it is one quick way to set up a pivot table that will help you analyze your actual and budget every time it updates when you refresh that's when new data comes in so please take the learning and practice and add it to your list of excel tricks thanks for watching for more of these short videos, you can join our broadcast list. You can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list, send videos to you directly. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. Please visit, subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you very much for watching.